Hello and welcome to the S4D stencil and screen printer presentation. In this video I will briefly walk you through the process of using an S4D machine produced by Mechatronic Systems. Stencil printers as such are most commonly used for distributing soldering paste over a PCB board in order to maximize the production value and minimize the time to market. The product shown in the video is a customized version of our standard S4D machine which provides following additional features. Precise height control of the table. In an application where one wishes to place fluid layer by layer, there is a possibility to adjust the table height with approx 20 microns. Heated table, which allows to heat up the object placed onto it up to 90 degrees. For the next couple minutes, I will be presenting to you how easy it is to use the S4D printer. After that, an example application will be shown. To turn on the machine, I firstly power up the high voltage block using the button on the back. Then I press the start button in the front. After this, the printer is fully operational. The machine is controlled mainly by the buttons in the front panel. The full set of features, however, can be accessed only by connecting the printer to the computer using an USB cable. After the cable is plugged, PC will recognize the connected machine as a serial port. To get the additional functionalities, we use the printer manager application. When in it, I choose the COM port number addressed to the printer. This app allows to set a whole bunch of parameters like squeegees, fall and rise delays before and after the liquid distribution, step of the table after the height control buttons are pressed, or the table desired temperature. Now, before I will be able to start working with the Micron table, I need to perform the homing procedure which will calibrate the system. The table won't move without completing this process. Homing places the table in the neutral starting position. From now on, pressing one of the HAVE buttons will accordingly increase and decrease the table HAVE by a factor that is set using the PC app. In this case, it's 1 mm. Pressing the HIVE buttons in pair with the start button allows to drive the table to the maximum and the minimum level. I will now set the table to a previously chosen HAVE. At first, I drive all the way to the top as my desired position is very close to the maximum level of the table. As I stated before, the material we are about to place fluid on can be heated to a set temperature if the application requires that. When the temperature reaches a certain level, the hot LED can indicate that. Also, it is shown in the PC app. The portal is moved by holding the arrow buttons closer to the edges of the machine. Driving speed can be adjusted in real time using the knob in the middle. In order to precisely distribute paste on the board, the board itself has to be centered with the stencil. To do this, I use provided cameras set at the two fiducial points of the stencil and an LCD monitor. Micrometer screws are used to control the horizontal position of the table. After the board fiducial matches the corresponding stencil holes, we are all set. In order to program the portal's move, in addition to an arrow button, we press the start button as well. 
When the ride is over, the start button LED will blink with low frequency, indicating that the program is loaded. Before we execute the programmed move, we have to lock the table. To start the program, I press the arrow button. The corresponding squeegee then falls down and the portal moves. LED frequency is improved when program is executing. This was the normal operation mode. I will now present the camera mode. Pressing the start button to remove the program. Unlocking the table. And now I turn on the camera mode switch located in the front bottom part of the machine. Yellow LED indicates this mode. We start off in the middle where we see the fiducials on the monitor. From this spot the portal is now driven to the first edge and then to the other. I start the program with an arrow button, same as before. The difference is that the portal stops in the starting position of the camera program, allowing us to check the fiducials on the monitor. I will now like to present an example program in normal mode where a soldering paste is distributed over a PCB board you have seen in the past couple minutes. First I drive to the appropriate side of the placing area. Then, I press the corresponding arrow button to execute the previously set program. The soldering paste is being distributed now. The pads that are visible through the stencil holes are being covered with liquid. PCB pads are now covered in soldering paste. The board can now be assembled. To shut down the whole system, I press the red button on the back. In case of an emergency of any kind, the machine can be shut using the emergency button in the front. Please be aware that this video, unlike the printer manual, contains only a brief data about the usage and the machine itself. To get more information, please visit our website or contact us using the provided email address. Thank you for watching.